Hi, this is D. Bethel with a video of me inking very quickly. This is a page from chapter four of Long John, as of yet untitled, or the title has yet to be revealed. This is pretty early on in the chapter. It's a much more kind of character focused chapter. Uh, I hate to say it, but uh, I. I wrote it so it doesn't bother me. Uh, not a whole lot in terms of plot happens in this chapter, but a lot happens in terms of character. Um, we see Long John dealing with the the fallout, uh, the emotional fallout and personal fallout of the events of chapters two and three. And so as you can see, he has a, a coat now. And uh, why? That's a central mystery. No, he, I think he says at the end of chapter three that he would like a coat. <laughs> so he has one. We learn that Lady May is very nice. I think we already knew that. I use Saccharomicron pens mostly for inking. Not out of necessarily personal preference for the medium. It's just the, the tool that I decided to use for Long John. When I did Ebon 07, I mostly inked those once I went to physical media. I use dip pens, nib pens, like the Speedball, nib and, and nib holder, dunk it and ink kind of uh, lines, so I could recreate the thick to thin lines that you'd that I was getting back when I was inking in Photoshop, that uh, the sort of smooth, animated style lines. And I, when I started doing Long John, I wanted something much more sketchy, something much more, um, painter leaves the wrong word, but I wanted it to look like a cartoon, or like a, a hand-drawn uh, drawing rather than an animated cartoon. And so I wanted to be able to see mistakes and allow for mistakes and get comfortable having bad lines on there. Um, so and honestly, it's only something I've really embraced by the end of chapter three. And hopefully I'm keeping, keep, I keep going on chapter four. I'm, I'm going, I'm drawing these pages much more quickly than I have ever before. And so it speaks to, to something. The straight edge I use uh, for inking has an ink edge on it, and I like it because it's old and ratty, which really fits the aesthetic of Long John because it has divots and cracks and stuff like that. So I'm never going to get a, I mean, I probably could get like a, a clean straight line, but I like it because it, it does have some nuance and character in it that uh, embodies the aesthetic philosophy of Long John where it should be wobbly. It should, shouldn't ever be pristine. Now what we see here is obviously peeled up wallpaper in the saloon that Long John is at. And I do, I do try to keep as much art on the page. And I, I would say 99% of the art that ends up in the comic is on the page. But rather than clutter the 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 actual art um, with ink, I'm making a conscious choice here, thinking about the final product uh, by, by filling in the, the, the wallpaper for what limited design there will be. I'm gonna save that for the toning that I do for coloring. So instead of sort of filling it in with line work, like light hash work or something like that, I'm just gonna do that in Photoshop. So I'm not, I mean, it is a corner to, that I'm cutting, but it's it's a design choice. And uh, I'm still kind of, uh, not kind of, I definitely am keeping to the idea that uh, I, I what ends up on the page is not, is what goes up onto the screen. So I'm not, unlike when, with Evan 07, where I would leave buildings undrawn. I'm like, I'll just do that in Photoshop. Um, I don't ever cut out or... or terribly manipulate anything. The one, the one, the reason why I'm being hesitant is that there's a, a page in chapter one that I did manipulate in Photoshop. It's very early. It's, it's the shot of Long John riding into town on the back of a horse, riding into Poverty Flat. And the, I noticed that, that the 
the town was crooked. It, it should have been wouldn't should have been on the flat plain. So I did sort of nudge it over. Small inconsistencies like that don't bother me too much. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Check out update, regular updates, usually sort of sketches uh, and and blogs at uh, longjohncomic.com. And that's also where you can find posts about when pages will start going up or when the new book will be available for purchase. Thank you for watching. I'm D. Bethel. And I'll see you next time.